it is technically day we're gonna say this is day one because Cody just got here so this is day one of Lumbee homecoming we are already in our golf cart in the streets we just went and got us a collard sandwich it should be awesome we haven't tasted it yet um, but we're on the way back home I got some hair to cut today got to help out my my family they need they need their hair fixed so I gotta help these people out <laughs> So, um, yes, we will let you know how the collard sandwich is when we get home. And I'll show you exactly what the collard sandwich is because I know you don't have no idea what the collard sandwich is. So, yeah. How dare you insult them, their intelligence? They might not know what a collard sandwich you is. They don't know what they know. Now, some of my my people, my Lumbee people, I know y'all know what a collard sandwich is. So, when y'all watch it, y'all know what it is. But other people, they don't. So, okay, guys, we are here at home now. I'm gonna show you what a collard sandwich looks like. It comes with two pieces of fat back. Yep. Is there another word you call it? White, white side, side meat. Can you see it? It's kind of like it. bacon. It's a gristle. But it's different. I like it. Here's a collard sandwich. Cody's already diving into his. Yeah. This is chow chow, which is like a pickle vinegary relish kind of thing I can't eat collards without it this year the certain place we went to they only let you get one pack of chow chow per collard sandwich and I love chow chow so I stole Cody's I have to have two <laughs> Collard Sandwich 2016. <laughs> mm. Nom 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 nom. Is that all you hope it will be? And more. All I ever dreamed of. Mm -hmm. Big Daddy? Boston butt sandwich. Boston butt. How easy? Good. Mmm. Well. Waiting on Mama to bring Wait. back my collard wrap. Just showing y'all some street footage. As you can see, the easiest way to get around is a golf ball. Is a golf ball. Um, they do have some like Pan Am. Polaris's and Yamaha, Yamaha. Uh, 
Um, but just trying to get through here on a car or truck. Even the laws is on a golf cart. Yeah, park. even the police are on golf carts. It's just a lot easier trying to get through town. <sighs> so, it's a little hot. When I say a little, I mean a lot. Today is July 2nd. It is um, kind of hot out here. How much more too hot to eat? So, what do we have planned for the rest of the day? You can look at me until I'm hot. I have a little bit of a tan, which I am not happy about. Do you have a tan? Oh man, you got a tan. Nope. Mama's burnt. Um, her arms just burnt. I need some on my feet. I but got a um, bit. um, the fireworks will be happening tonight. Um, we're gonna look at some more. Oh, I did get some earrings. Let me show y'all my earrings. They are really pretty. I cannot wait to wear them. Uh. If you want some earrings, I get them from Six Feathers, Valerie Strickland. If I can sort of, if I can possibly link something in the description box for you to be able to, I might link her Instagram in the description box for you guys to check her out and get you some earrings. She's my favorite because, and I'll show you why, and it's because of the backs of her earrings. These are buckskin, and it has these, um, I don't really know what you'd call them, the clasp that go on the back. So what you do is you'll put like the regular clear back on, and then this silver back hooks over that so it'll keep them sturdy and if you're anything like me and you've wore earrings forever um, this ear is sort of like the ear piercing part or whatever the hole in my ear is like stretched so when I wear heavy earrings they sort of droop down and you don't get the full effect so that holds it straight up on my ear and um, they both look identical and they don't hurt my ear nearly as bad so um definitely love them and they're a good price point and they are definitely unique so we really like um, six feathers and here's my friends coming now with mama they're, they're struggling for Zaylee Zaylee has had enough of today she is done for she's out for the count I'm on the back of the golf cart it's, it's hot. I want you to know, I did have my hair down this morning. That didn't last very long. I had to pull it up. So we're trying to find a shaded area to eat because it is too hot to even eat. Hopefully, if we find a shaded spot, we'll be able to eat. I feel like it's a hundred. That's where the humidity did probably is. Y'all know we're North Carolina and it is humid here. So the humidity makes it feel like it's a now lot hotter know. than it actually is. You didn't want that as hot as it is, but it's got hot, ain't it? <laughs> you needed to spill it all right here. So, we'll show y'all our food. Some of y'all's people. Situated. Also, if you did not know, um, Pembroke has um, one of the first, or it might even be hey, the only, the um, university <laughs> that right was open by Native Americans. It is the University of North Carolina at Pembroke. My shades look crooked. And I actually went there for two years. Hey, we went here right for two here years. That's where we're at right now. It is literally the heart of Pembroke. Beautiful campus. Um, that's actually where they have the powwow. And that's where we are out here eating at. I'm gonna show you some of the nice campus. Here is some of campus. That right there, let me see if you can see my finger, that is the UC where we used it's to hang out. This is actually new oh, yeah. right here where they have like fans and tables for people to sit. Um, that is the gym right there. Oh, um, so that's where you can work out. And they also have like the basketball. Oh, um, gym in there, and just some different different places. 
Um, that's a rock right there that one of the baseball players used to touch every time before. Over there on you, Daddy Willie. I say baseball. Mm -hmm. I meant basketball. Basketball players used to touch before every game. And it made you leave out with her. And that's the cafeteria yeah. right there. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna eat my collard sandwich now. Let me show you what it looks you want like. You collard wrap. Collard wrap. I already ate a collard sandwich. So I showed y'all what that looked like. And it's always a far so, crack of steel. These are like egg roll wrappers. You sure you don't want them? And you get two of them. <laughs> so they have collards inside. So they have the collard greens. The same collards that was in the collard sandwich. These are just from different people. So they are made a little bit different. And these They're come with fire. um some, which looks more like pepper jelly than this chow chow. Mm -hmm. But it's all the same thing. All tastes the same pretty much. And like I said before, I cannot eat collards without some chow chow. So let's take a bite and see how they are. They're hot. Hopefully they're not too hot right now, actually. You can bite them. I'm glad they give you a lot of chow chow. Well, that's actually jelly. Mm -hmm. It's got something in it. Lady's trying to see too. <laughs> I know one thing, it beats the snot out of a collard sandwich. It is really good. <laughs> I have to say. They got them seasoned good. We are riding through town. Lady. What do you mean who am I talking to? My subscribers. Um, lady is, lady is all up. In this. She's loving this wind blowing. She's finally got cooled off. We, she's gonna go home with Mama. Me and Cody's gonna stay up here. Um, so she's going home with Mama for a little bit. There is a what is that noise? picture the tan line on my feet. It's not pretty.
but I did two braids and then I did one, I made them in the back and braided them together. So, yes, I kind of want another collar wrap. I went back and was watching my footage from earlier. Yeah, kind of want another collar wrap. They were so good, and I hate to say it, but I think I might never eat another collard sandwich again. I might just do collard wraps. It was really good. So, we're going to go get something to eat. I am hungry again, of course. So, I don't know what we're going to get. I know I want a funnel cake to watch, um, to eat it while I watch the fireworks. Because you can't walk and eat a funnel cake. That's messy. You get powdered sugar all over your clothes. And I got a black tank top on and it'll be covered in powdered sugar. So, um, we'll let you see some of the fireworks and maybe I'll get some footage of some other stuff. And so, we're at our spot where we watch fireworks every year and there's actually nobody here just yet anyway but everybody is everybody back, everybody's out there on the road way, which i should have got some video footage so you can see everybody but we always come back here and literally they do fireworks right there like we are right here at it how many feet away would you say we are from where they do the fireworks about 200, about, yards. About 200 yards from where they do them so we're like really close um, but uh, I just wanted to show you. Oh my gosh! <laughs> just wanted to show you how bad the weather is. Um, it's pretty bad. It hasn't rained like this since 2008, and I know that because that's the year I was Team Miss Lumby. And um, here comes the fire truck, so they have to be prepared. Do you think they're gonna cancel the fireworks? I don't know. You, you, can't, you can't ask him nothing seriously. I don't know. We've never been the only ones back here. Well, guys, as you can see, we have we have left our we golf cart. We have fled. We have fled the premises. The premises. Thankfully, this is the apartment that I used to stay in when I went to UNCC. I was in 422. So, um... <laughs> We took our blankets and threw them up here and let them dry. And I have to pee really, really bad. And this rain is not helping at all. I have no idea if we're going to keep doing the fireworks or not. Well, guys. You may or may not be able to see some fireworks this year. We're stuck at Pembroke Place. But a nice gentleman let me use his bathroom. And I have no idea who he is. But he was super nice. I was about to pee on the ground. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> when you gotta go, you gotta go. But we have no idea if they're actually gonna do this or not. The fire truck's still sitting here. Um, the guys that do the fireworks are still back there. We can see like flashlights or whatnot. So I don't know. Lighting. We can That's see crazy. it. We can. It was. It's still lightning. Um, we can see them from here where we're standing underneath this shelter here if they decide to still do them but i don't know we're just stuck we're stuck here just so you know lumbies are die hard lumbies because there's over a hundred people still on the main street soaking wet including my sister Brittany. her hair is now curly it was straight and now it's curly because y'all know how that goes but um oh we'll see Okay, guys, as you noticed, there were no fireworks. Um, my hair didn't get wet, but I just took the braids down. And from the mist, the mist, the mist, um, from the, the little bit of rain my hair did see, um, you know, from being in braids, it did do a little bit of something. So, but um, anyway, there was a gas leak in town. Um, so, that along with the rain i don't know when they're going to be rescheduled um so hopefully they'll be rescheduled for when we're actually here so i can incorporate this in this vlog because i really wanted you guys to see it because they do go all out with the fireworks and it is a really nice display 
So, yeah, I guess we're gonna, Cody's warming up some um, taco salad stuff that mama made earlier in the week. Yeah, I don't know how this is gonna, I'm probably gonna have to blow dry it a little bit and then wrap it. I'm trying to block that light with my hair, which is kind of easy to do. But um, yeah, so we'll see you guys. If not, then this just might be the end of the vlog. We'll see if there's fireworks.